In today's video, we are going to go over the tricep muscle. All the exercises that I can think of to activate that tricep to straighten out the elbow. That is the action of the tricep, and that is what you are going to learn how to do today. We're going to break this up into five stages. So there's going to kind of be like five categories of exercises. The first set of exercises are going to be ideal for those of you that have kind of a flaccid arm. You're trying to just activate the tricep muscle. Then the next group of exercises are going to be gravity assisted exercises. So going towards the floor, then we're going to go into more of gravity eliminated. So that's any movement kind of parallel to the floor. Then we're going to go into a group of exercises that are against gravity. And then finally, the last category of exercises that we're going to cover in this video are exercises with resistance. So tricep exercises that you can start doing today to really strengthen those triceps in the later stages of recovery. Time stamps are going to be below for each stage of the exercise progression that I'm gonna go through. So if you know you're in a particular stage or you wanna get right to those exercises, go down to the video description below and you will find time timestamps for that. As well as there is a link for you to be able to get a PDF version of all of the exercises so that you don't have to keep coming back and watching this uh, video start to finish. You can just have the PDF that has all the exercises listed on it with a description on how to do the exercise. In today's video, we're gonna go through the tricep muscle and all the exercises that I can come up with that you can do to strengthen the muscles that straighten the elbow. If you're new to this channel, I'm Tara, I'm a neurologic physical therapist. And on this channel, we talk about anything and everything related to mobility, health, fitness, and mindset in the context of neurologic injury with the end goal of empowering you with as many tools as possible to take ownership of your rehab and your health to live an overall more active, more mobile, pain-free, happier, healthier life. And all that said, in today's video, we are gonna go through every stage of the recovery process with exercises spe specific for that stage. So the first set of exercises are gonna be exercises for anyone who's just trying to activate the tricep, meaning that your arm is kind of just limp and floppy. The next group we're going to go into are exercises that are gravity assisted, meaning moving towards the floor. That would kind of be like the next stage in recovery. The next group we're going to go into are gravity eliminated. So movements parallel to the floor are what we call gravity eliminated exercises. Then we're going to go into exercises against gravity. So any movement away from the floor. And then we're going to finish up this video with exercise, tricep exercises with resistance. Timestamps for each one of those categories is gonna be in the description below. So if you already kind of know where you're at in the recovery process, then you can just go to the description and go to the exact section that's gonna have the exercises that will meet you where you are at in your recovery process as well as there is going to be a PDF or a link for a PDF in the description below. That PDF uh, is going to have a list of all the exercises in it with descriptions for each exercise so that you don't have to keep coming back to this video and watching this video start to finish. You can kind of use this video as a reference and kind of use the PDF handout as your reference for like day to day. But without further ado, let's dive into today's exercises. So as I mentioned, the first set of exercises are going to be for those of you that have kind of a flaccid arm and you're just trying to learn how to activate the tricep. So maybe you just had a stroke or you had some kind of, of an injury to your brain and your arm just kind of hangs there. It's kind of like a dead arm. The first thing we're going to try are weight bearing exercises to kind of activate that tricep. So if you load that arm, meaning you kind of put your body weight on it. We're kind of hoping that the arm, it just kind of triggers those triceps or activates those triceps. So if this is the arm we're working, you can just kind of set that down on the mat, take your other hand and kind of put it behind your elbow so you can help a little bit. You're gonna lean on that arm and then try and push it straight. Again, if you have to use this arm to help, that's totally okay. And then push that arm straight. Right, you're just loading it a little bit and we're kind of hoping that that kind of forces that tricep to kick in a little bit to support your body weight so that you don't fall. That's kind of like the concept, that's kind of like a, a protective mechanism we're trying to tap into in the brain. And then 
If you feel like you're not going to collapse or you feel like that arm's kind of kicking in a little bit, then you can try and let go and try and do a little push. Let go and do a little push. Little push. So for this exercise, what we're doing is kind of like a gravity assisted exercise. We're kind of using the forces of physics on this earth to help to straighten the arm out. So this is a perfect exercise for some of you who might have a little spasticity or involuntary flexing up of the arm. If that is you, I recommend that you really focus on relaxing the arm when you do this exercise. Or if your arm is just really floppy, you want to actually work on activating that arm. So it just depends. If you've got a lot of involuntary flexing, your main focus is going to want to be to relax that bicep as you do this exercise. If your arm is flaccid or really limp, then you want to kind of help it up and then slowly let it push down. Kind of, you need to help it up and then push, 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 push to straighten it out. You help it up and then push, 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 push to straighten it out. So this is a perfect exercise for those of you that are starting to get some movement just to make the activity or the movement a little bit easier. We do recommend a movement where your arm is moving parallel to the ground. So let me show that to you again. You want to rest your arm. I, I love a bedside table. There's so many great things that you can do with a bedside table. So I think it's a worthwhile investment to add to your home gym setup. And you want your elbows supported on the table. You want to be on your side. And then you're just trying to kind of push that hand away from your face. All right. So kind of just pushing that arm away from your face. Try and make sure that your elbow is not coming down. If that happens, you can even bring your other arm up and hold it. You don't want that whole arm moving down. You really want to isolate that tricep. So you can use your other arm right here as you bring that arm down. So this is another gravity eliminated exercise. So again, you can see we're moving parallel to the ground as I've explained in some of the other exercises. Um, so for this one, we are using a few tools. I love, you guys have heard me talk about these in other videos, but I love kind of furniture movers. So that kind of creates more of like a frictionless surface to set the arm on. And then I just have this block that's about the same height to set the elbow on so that everything's level. And then a Dyson pad. I love Dyson. It just allows things to kind of stay in place and not slide. So that just kind of holds your hand in place. If you do have a hand splint, I do recommend it. I think this would be really hard if you didn't have something to hold your wrist, especially if you're in this stage where you're having to work gravity eliminated. It probably means that your wrist and hand is pretty weak as well. So having some kind of a splint on your arm is helpful. And it's okay for this one because we have this frictionless surface, even though the splint weighs a little bit, and that would, under normal conditions, make an exercise a little bit harder. In this situation, because we're using the wheels, it's okay to have that little bit of extra weight because of the stability that it gives to your wrist and your hands so that you can isolate that elbow movement. And then again, you're just kind of moving that arm out to the side. Now, I do want to stress that this is for those of you that aren't developing a lot of tone or abnormal synergy patterns. This definitely is kind of facilitating like an extensor synergy pattern, which you guys have heard me talk about it before. It's not a bad thing. Like abnormal synergy patterns are actually a stage in the recovery process. If you th look at babies when they're infants and before they learn to crawl and they're just laying on the ground, they kind of just move in patterns, either either all extension or all flexion. And then once they kind of learn to cruise on their stomach or roll around to their stomach and kind of commando crawl, now they're starting to work out of those patterns. They're not all flexion and all extension, but they can kind of isolate joint movement. 
crawling is even more joint isolation types of movements, and then they progress from there. There is some people out there that believe that we go through those same stages after a neurologic injury. So an abnormal synergy pattern is okay, but you don't want to stay there because it can become so ingrained that that's all you learn. So you'll stay in that like all flexion, all extension stage. And the longer you're there, it might be a little bit more difficult to get to that stage where you can isolate joint movement. So the reason I tell you all that is this exercise is definitely using an extensor synergy pattern because you're more in this position versus being in a straight plane where you're not in an extensor synergy pattern. So extensor synergy for the upper extremity is shoulder internal rotation with extension. And you can see I'm in that internal rotation with extension in this position. And for those of you where your elbow always seems to flare out to the side when you try and extend your arm, that's because you are using a, a synergy pattern. So I know that was a lengthy explanation, but that's just to say that if you're in the really early stages and you're, you have no movement at all, this would be a good exercise. If you're someone who is moving in patterns, I would not, I'd say that this is not the ideal exercise, if that makes sense. The best, the better exercise, if you still wanted to go gravity eliminated, would be the previous exercise where you were laying on your side. Uh, again, because your arm isn't internally rotated, but your arm is starting to kind of be more in a neutral rotation type of position. All right, so once again, elbow resting on a block and just rotating that arm out to the side. And then from there, we're going to move on to against gravity. So you're going to hold the arm, hold your forearm up like this, let that arm bend, and then you're going to push it up towards the ceiling. Now, try not to let it turn in like this. You're kind of compensating with some other muscles when you do that. So really try and keep your elbow kind of pointed towards your knee as you straighten it out. So, and I would hold that arm in order to do that so that you can really work on focusing on just isolating that tricep. So this is against gravity tricep extension with the shoulder in a neutral position or with the upper arm bone kind of parallel to the body. So again, as I've mentioned in some of the other exercises, you kind of want to do some tricep extension with the arm in neutral, some tricep extension with a little bit of bend in it, and some tricep extension with the shoulder flex if at all possible or with the arm, the upper arm bone kind of up near your ear just works different components of that tricep muscle. And also functionally, it's extremely important. If you wanna reach into a cabinet, you need to be able to extend your arm in this direction. If you wanna reach into a height of cabinet directly in front of you, you need to be able to reach in this direction. And if you want to be able to push up from a chair, you need to be able to do a tricep extension with your arm in this position. So again, let me show that to you again. You're gonna bend over so that you're getting that arm in a position where it can be against gravity or moving away from the ground. All right, and then now this would be a variation adding resistance. So same thing, you can still hold your upper arm. That'll just allow you to focus on the tricep a little bit more. If you can't grip onto a weight, you can use a wrist weight to do this. I will put a link for wrist weights in the description below. Now for this exercise, we're changing the arm position. So in the last one, our arm was kind of pointed up at a kind of a 90 degree angle. Our shoulder was flexed at a 90 degree angle. I do recommend working the tricep in with the upper arm in different positions. So for this one, I like doing this exercise laying down. You'll see a lot of people at the gym kind of doing it sitting up. But when you're here and you're adding resistance, the mat or the when you're laying down, the mat can kind of support your upper arm a little bit. And you just might not compensate as much. I mean, you could definitely do this standing up, but this is just another variation laying down. Um, and you can do this like at your bed if you have a headboard and you have something that you can attach it to, 
Or if you're in the hospital, this is a great exercise that um, where you can use the hospital bed. So you can just tie some TheraBand to some of the bars that are on the hospital bed and do the same thing. Wrap the other hand, uh, wrap the other end around your hand a couple of times if you don't have good grip strength, and just pull that hand down. So for this exercise, what we're working on again is tricep extension against gravity with a resistance band this time. Arm parallel to the body. Remember, again, three positions here, here, and here. So you want to kind of be bent over enough so that you are going against gravity, your hands moving away from the floor. Stand on the with the one end of the band secured under your front foot. And you're just going to Press that hand or push that hand towards the ceiling, kind of away from your foot. What you want to pay special attention to is that you're not just moving your elbow up and down, that your elbow is staying glued to your side and you're moving your hand. If you don't have grip strength, the other variation you could do is to put a wrist weight around your hand. If you don't have bands, the other variation you could do is hold onto either a soup can or a hand weight in your hand. Next, we're moving on to dips. Chair dips are probably one of my favorite tricep exercises. So you're just gonna find an ar a chair with armrests on it, get your hands back on the armrest, and push up. Now, one of the things to focus on is to make sure that you're not, those elbow, shoulders aren't dropping forward when you push. Sometimes people do that. It's just kind of a compensatory mechanism to use some of your shoulder muscles to get those elbows straight. So just really make sure that your shoulders are back and that you're pushing straight down and that you're going straight up towards the ceiling. You're not going forward. And then once you feel like you've gotten pretty good at that, then you can slide off the front of a chair and do the same thing, down and push back up. Go down and push back up, down. Now you're just kind of using your body weight as the resistance. All right, and as I mentioned in a couple of the earlier exercises, you wanna do it with the, the tricep, work the tricep with the arm in a variety of positions. So now we're taking that shoulder and we're going to max flexion, getting that arm all the way up by the ear and kind of pressing up towards the ceiling. So just take that TheraBand, kind of hold it in your other hand, down by your opposite hip on the other side. And then you're just gonna use, hold on to the other end with your hand, and press up towards the ceiling. Let it come back down and press all the way up, back down and press all the way back up towards the ceiling. All right, and then sticking with using our body weight to work the triceps, now we're gonna go to a push up in kind of like a modified plank position. So it's a little bit easier to do a push-up when your um, hands are on a surface that's a little bit higher than your feet. So that's a good place to start. You're gonna bend and then push back up. And then from there, we're gonna go to what some people kind of call like a girl push-up, where you do a push-up just on your knees, come down, and then push back up, down, and push back up. And then if you wanted to take it to the next level, you could try doing a full push up, down, and push back up, down, and push back up. And then that is it for this video. I hope you guys found those exercises helpful. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, don't forget there is a link in the description below. Click on that link to get a PDF version of these exercises and a handout so that you don't have to come back to the video. But again, timestamps will be in the description below for all the exercises so that if you get the handout, 
and you forget exactly how to do an exercise, you can always come back to the video and get directly to the exercise that you're looking for. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you're new to this channel and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that you will get notified every time I upload new videos. If you wanna get exercises throughout the week, head on over to Instagram where we post one to two videos every single week that are different from the videos that we post here on YouTube. If you want to go a little bit deeper and get your specific questions answered, as well as get access to my personal home exercise program that I use with my patients, you can join our gold membership program. Information for that is in the description below. With your membership, you'll get access to a growing library that's probably closer to 400 exercises at this point as well as access to our monthly lives where you can pre-submit questions and get your specific questions answered. And you get access to our Discord channel where you can interact with other members and with me throughout the week. So if you're interested in that link for that member, the gold membership program is in the description below. I enjoyed spending time with you all today and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.